So I got a question the other day about importing things into Blender from other 3D softwares. And unfortunately, you... Uh, what was that? Wait, what? Megasaurus? What the... I made you in SolidWorks, what are you doing here? Oh sh Okay, as I was trying to say before I got so brutally interrupted, you can actually import models from other 3D softwares into Blender. And today, I will show you the steps I use to bring this mech I made in SolidWorks into Blender and bring it to life. So let's head over to SolidWorks. Hold on a sec, I'll be right back. Okay, in this case, the mech is made out of an assembly. That means it's made out of more than one part. To export a part slash assembly, you need to click and export it as an STL file. Click options and select save all components of an assembly in a single file. That makes it easier to handle. In my experience, STL files work great with Blender. But if you are now screaming at your screen right now because there is a better file format, please drop a comment and let me know. If we now click import and select the STL file, the mech is now in Blender. But can you see the problem? It's just one solid part. I mean, we can rotate and scale it, but we can't really do anything else with it. That's why we need to separate it into parts. If we go into edit mode and click L, it will select the connecting vertices. We can now separate the part from the mesh with P and selecting selection. You can do that for all the selections you want, but I recommend remembering how many parts your original file consisted of before you go crazy. Now we're technically done. I mean, you wanted to know how you can import things from SolidWorks into Blender, and this is one option. But... This is where the fun begins. Blend the file of the mech, fully rigged in the description you can download and make something out of. And remember students, for glory and fame, animation is the game. <laughs> 